Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got nine zero pumpkin everything, dreamland lacquer, what big eyes you have. I'm starting with American Classic starting over as my base coat. And here is nine zero pumpkin everything. And it is like a pumpkin orange with hollow. And here's dreamland lacquer. And this one is what big eyes you have multi-chrome it's gorgeous so I'm gonna go in with the multi-chrome one on my accent nail that is the dreamland lacquer what big eyes you have this is so crazy pretty it's and it's unusual and I really do like the unusual it's orange it's copper it's gold it's green it's crazy right up my alley Hi Woody, how you doing? And then we're gonna go in with our first coat of Pumpkin Everything. Now Pumpkin Everything came to me by my friend Kim. She sent this one to me. She sent me several things, lots of stuff, lots of polishes and candies and some cute socks and some seeds. But this polish was the one that started her gifting. She um, was sending me this one and threw in some more stuff. And What Big Eyes You Have came from Debbie, Sister Chic. She sent me this in my Christmas package. And she did so good because it's so pretty. Loving these polishes. They both have excellent formulas. And I really do believe this non-zero, hi Woody, how you doing? Could have been a one-coater. So I'm going to top this one with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. Get it to dry down because you know I'm going to do something to it. Today, that something will be stamping. <laughs> Again, I do a lot of stamping. I do get into other stuff, but stamping's my jam. It's, it's an easy way to jazz up a manicure. And um, you don't have to have, you know, like really steady hands or... Anything like that. So I love it. Woody's coming back again for a little bit more attention. There you go, Woody. There we go. Here's my swatch photo of the polishes on their own. I'll be using Lena Twirls and Swirls 01 today. And MDU Cream Number 12. My Monocle Stamper. And my Clear Jelly Scraper. Now this Swirls and Twirls plate came to me via Miss Becky. Um, and that big, huge stack of stamping plates she sent me. So I want to thank all the ladies that hooked me up today with this manicure. Everything just about was from friends. I am using a little piece of tape to get up some of the excess. Um, my MDU polish is quite thick. They normally are very thick. Um, but this one might need some thinner. I have a little issues with it. But nothing that can't be worked around so I'm gonna use the same image on all of the nails but I'm gonna flip it on the other nails I don't know that it makes that big of a difference that I flipped it but I did <laughs> you can see some of the image didn't pick up and that's not a fault of the plate because Lena plates are awesome but I think that MDU polish needs a little bit of thinner I do normally hesitate to thin down stamping polishes because I don't want to go too far and then have a polish that won't stamp. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. See, there we go. I'm turning around. I'm remembering to turn it. So there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and just warn y'all, I go crazy on this manicure. It's, um, I probably ever did it, which you guys know, if you've been around for a while, sometimes that's what I do. I do go just a little nuts and overdo it. But it's nail polish, and playing is fun, so there we go. I'm going to go in with a piece of tape, and it's very minimal cleanup on this. The design wasn't very bad overlapping and very easy to clean up. I do have a little bit here on this nail. I'm going to scrape it up with the tape too. There we go. Got that little piece. And now I'm going to use China Glaze 
And this is a Glittering Garland. It's a beautiful shimmery dark green polish. And I'm going to put in some dots. Because I cannot leave it alone. <laughs> and as an afterthought, I really probably should have done the dots down like the center of the image. But you know, live and learn. It's, uh, it's all fun to me. I really do like it like this too though. So nothing was, you know, ruined in my opinion. You know, this girl's crazy about some manicures. So there we go. I'm going to let them dry down really well. I will be going in with this Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I wasn't really worried about the MDU smearing because it was really dry. But I wanted to make sure I didn't smear those dots. And this worked. Happy to report it worked just fine. Woody back again. Hi, Woody. Hello. So there we go. And to finish this one off, I'm going to use my Posh Top Coat. I'm going to put a nice, generous layer of it over everything. Smooth those dots out. And be sure to cap my free edge. There we go. And there it goes on the last one. So I would love to hear what you think about my manicure. I always love talking manicures with you. Let me know what you're wearing today. I always love hearing. and Because, you know, you'll tell me I'm wearing this. And if I don't know what that is, I'll run out and look at pictures of what that polish looks like. Makes my day. Just love it. I do have a swatch photo coming up here real soon. But I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. And until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.